DeepSeek is making a big waves in the AI industry by accelerating the launch of its next AI model ahead of schedule. If successful, this could allow DeepSeek to significantly undercut OpenAI's costs by up to 40 times, disrupting the market in a major way. Meanwhile, Alibaba has introduced a new video AI model that is reportedly outperforming OpenAI's Sora in several key areas. These developments have not gone unnoticed and Western governments are beginning to take action, raising concerns over AI's potential for social manipulation and security risks. At the time, OpenAI is rolling out new research tools and voice features, leading to an important question. How persuasive should AI really be? The industry is at crossroads with advancements in AI moving at an unprecedented pace and companies competing aggressively to gain an edge. DeepSeek first made headlines in January with the launch of its R1 model, which caught many in the industry off guard. R1 was marketed as a powerful AI reasoning model that was trained at a fraction of the cost compared to OpenAI's models. Some major players, including Google, were skeptical, calling DeepSeek's claim exaggerated. OpenAI even suspected that DeepSeek might have used distillation techniques leveraging ChatGPT's infrastructure. However, the model proved its worth, gaining traction with major technology firms. Microsoft's integrated R1 into Azure AI Foundry, while GitHub and AWS also listed in their model catalogs. Now, DeepSeek is making under bold move by aiming to release its R2 model earlier than expected. Initially, the launch was planned for early May, but new reports suggest it could arrive even sooner. R2 is expected to feature improved coding capabilities and enhanced reasoning skills across multiple languages. This is crucial development because most advanced language models are primarily optimized for English. A truly multilingual AI could position DeepSeek as a formidable global competitor, especially in markets where AI has yet to be fully localized. DeepSeek's decision to accelerate its release is strategic. GPT 4.5 is still weeks away and GPT 5 may not arrive for months. If R2 enters the market first, it could disrupt the AI landscape significantly. Moreover, DeepSeek has already demonstrated its ability to offer AI services at dramatically lower costs compared to OpenAI. Analysts at Bernstein estimate that DeepSeek's models could be up to 20 to 40 times cheaper for comparable performance, making them an attractive option for both startups and major enterprises. Much of DeepSeek's success can be attributed to its founder, Liang Wenfeng. A low-profile billionaire, Liang made his fortune through his quantitative hedge fund, High Flyer. Unlike many Chinese tech firms that enforce intense work schedules, DeepSeek operates more like a research lab with a flatter corporate structure. Employees reportedly work regular 8-hour days rather than notorious 996 schedule 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. 6 days a week that is common in Chinese tech firms. High Flyer has been investing heavily in AI for years. In 2020 and 2021, the firm spent 1.5 billion yuan on supercomputing clusters before the US banned the export of Nvidia's A100 chips to China. This early investment gave DeepSeek a significant advantage, ensuring they had the computational power necessary to develop advanced AI models without relying on external suppliers. DeepSeek's efficiency comes from techniques like Mixture of Experts or MOE and Multi-Head Latent Attention or MLA. MOE allows the model to activate only the most relevant components rather than utilizing the entire model for every query, reducing computational costs. Meanwhile, MLA enables the model to process different input elements simultaneously, making it more efficient. These optimizations allow DeepSeek to rival much larger AI models while maintaining affordability. The Chinese government has thrown its support behind DeepSeek, with major corporations like Lenovo, BYD, and Tencent integrating its AI into their products. However, the Chinese government is also keeping DeepSeek international media presence low profile, possibly to avoid drawing regulatory scrutiny. Meanwhile, some Western governments, including South Korea and Italy, have restricted or removed DeepSeek based application due to privacy concerns. With increasing fears about AI driven misinformation and social engineering, regulatory scrutiny is expected to intensify further.
While DeepSeek is making strides in language models, Alibaba is pushing the boundaries in video AI. The company recently unveiled Quen VL 2.1, an open-source video foundation model that reportedly outperforms OpenAI Sora on certain benchmarks. Alibaba's AI suit includes multi-sum models optimized for tasks such as text-to-video, image-to-video, video editing, text-to-image, and even video-to-audio conversions. Some of these models can generate high-resolution 48 p and 720p videos and even run on consumer-grade GPUs like the RTX 4090. Quen VL 2.1 is trained on 1.5 billion videos on 10 billion images, leveraging a 3D causal VAE architecture and diffusion transformer framework to improve speed and accuracy. These technological advancements could pace Alibaba at the forefront of AI-generated video content, a space that OpenAI has also exploring with its Sora model. On the OpenAI front, several important updates have emerged. First, the company has expanded access to its deep research tool. Previously available only to pro subscribers at $200 per month, the tool is now accessible to all paid chat GPT users, including those on Teams and Enterprise plans. Deep research is designed for in-depth analysis, sometimes taking 5 to 30 minutes per query, and now includes image-based citations for more comprehensive insights. However, Free tier users are still excluded due to the tool's high resource consumption. Another major development is OpenAI's growing concern over AI persuasion risks. In a recent white paper, the company discussed the potential dangers of AI models influencing human beliefs. As a result, OpenAI is delaying the API release of its deep research model while re-evaluating how to test AI for real-world persuasion risks. Internal experiments have shown that AI can be effective at persuading users, which raises ethical concerns about how these models might be used at a scale. OpenAI also ran tests to see if its AI models could manipulate other AI systems, such as convincing GPT-4.0 to pay money or reveal a hidden code word. While deep research outperformed older models in these scenarios, it wasn't significantly better at extracting hidden information. Still, OpenAI is proceeding cautiously, recognizing the potential for misuse. Finally, OpenAI is expanding access to its advanced voice mode, previously available only to Plus subscribers. This feature, powered by a variant of GPT-4 Turbo, enables users to have real-time conversations with ChatGPT, allowing interruptions and follow-up questions. While daily usage limits apply, the expansion to free-tier users signals OpenAI's commitment to making AI more interactive and accessible. There are also rumors of a collaboration between OpenAI and Apple, possibly integrating AI voice technology into Apple devices. While no official details have been confirmed, such a partnership could significantly enhance AI-powered voice interaction across Apple's ecosystem. As AI models become more advanced and affordable, competition in the industry is heating up. DeepSeek's aggressive pricing and rapid models releases could pose a serious challenge to OpenAI's dominance. Meanwhile, Alibaba's advancement in video, AI, and OpenAI's cautious approach to persuasion risks are reshaping the industry's trajectory. The big question remains, can DeepSeek truly compete with OpenAI or it will establish players push back even harder? As AI continues to evolve, the stakes are higher than ever. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth AI updates. See you in the next one.